I love this cross. I can't tell if you were here to see me or the AA meeting, but either way, this is, <laughs> this is the most polite group of people I've ever performed at. I've only, this, is, this, is, this crowd is hot in the lukewarm terms. <laughs> this is hot and like taking a shower at your friend's house. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this work. Hi, doctor, it's good to see you. We were in a crazy street fight like six years ago. <laughs> they don't believe us. That's a weird way to start a story, but it's true. We were in a street fight. That's how raw my shows could get. You can tell by this floral print on this hoodie. My shit gets raw. <coughs> Should I tell the story? I guess I'm the one holding the microphone. <laughs> we're both on probation. Uh, <laughs> That's where she has to live out here. Order a drink, get whatever you want. It's on, it's on you, okay? Make sure right. she knows. <laughs> no, seriously, get Dr. Yvette a drink, let her know. I've been telling the story, it's crazy. It was like six years ago, four years ago. Six, damn. I was trying to make us both sound young. It was COVID, so it was 27 years ago. I was at a comedy club and there was like a group, of, it was a, a late show, you know, I work late nights. I'm like bad, bad, except I'm wearing the underwear on the outside because I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a group of kids at this late show and I was about to go up from and New from New Orleans, I remember, because I said all those people drowned in Katrina and you yes! guys somehow made it out. <laughs> and they were not cool about that joke. So I made 10 more. <laughs> and I was like, fuck your dog, fuck your friend's dog, fuck your grandmother, I hope she was the first to go. <laughs> you I did not, I'm not, am I bullshitting? You were that is exactly, yeah, I said fuck them all. I was mad at New Orleans that day. I, was, I hope the Levi's break again. <laughs> I, I wear Wrangler jeans only. <laughs> and then I go outside and, and they're all trying to, to, to fight and I go out and, and there's, a, there's a Spanish bartender who goes up. He's like, the, <laughs> you remember? He looked like the Boston Celtics mascot. He's like this tall, but he's packing those motherfuckers up. <laughs> and it's like six white dudes. They're like, come on, man. Yeah, I'll call my dad. <laughs> and I'm like behind him, and I'm like, yeah, get six more dudes, it'll be a fair fight. I just watched a Clint Eastwood movie, so I thought I was tough. <laughs> and then my friend behind me was like, guy, he was like Morty. He was like, I'm a pacifist, oh jeez, we know how to fight. <laughs> and then we had a friend, Omar, who's not with us anymore. He passed during COVID, but he could have passed during this fight. The next thing I see, her friend Omar has a pair of nunchucks that he grabs out of his trunk. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know what side he was on, but I was hoping it was mine. Then he disappeared with the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I'm on, this is technically vacation for me right now. I get to jack off in the sink at the hotel. <laughs> I don't have to clean it up. I can just turn the faucet on and watch it go. That's another 20 minutes. <laughs> Things are so much slower out here. I love it. I just, and then I had a lot of time to kill. I said, let's go just walk around. And I, I just sat in the courtyard for two hours with Tori. And we're, and we're just watching kids. And I was like, we should probably go now. <laughs> 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 what do you do, AJ? An accountant. You're accountant. That's what the A stands for. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. My name is Accountant Jones. <laughs> I never have free will. <laughs> be the most boring sitcom ever. Every day, just be like, I right, spent this much in quarter three. Tune in next week to see how much he spent in quarter four. <laughs> I'm Accountant Jones. My favorite and only position is missionary. <laughs> Who you, I'm sorry I keep doing that to your face, dog. That's right. <laughs> you just keep like getting these bursts of heat. Is this you? Who are you here with? My mom. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> You're about to have a little brother after this show, dog. I'm sorry. Just be glad you can't get pregnant through the mouth. <laughs> yeah, sorry. This is, a, this is a weird show. It feels like I'm, I'm performing for only stuffed animals. <laughs> it's like doing a card trick for Stevie Wonder. It's pointless. <laughs> Is this your card? Yeah, it was black. How did you know? <laughs> Walking in here was weird. I walked in and I saw there was nobody. And I was like, oh wow, this is where my career is. <laughs> there was just nobody. And then there was an easel on an empty stage and 14 seats. And I was like, wow, that's why it said 75% is sold. Because <laughs> I sold nine tickets. <laughs> And then they had just like a, did you guys see that when you walked in? Did you, there's like a, there's like a stage upstairs. I guess they do open mics, but like they had like a picture of like another comic who I thought like died. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I thought that like, 
we're gonna start my show off being like, today we like to honor James. Who's ready to start the show? And then just pick up his easel as I'm walking on stage, be like, yeah, fuck you, James. Good luck standing up now on the ground, bitch. You cold bastard. Uh, it just turns out it was an open mic poster. <laughs> Whether or not James is alive has been yet to be discovered, but I hope that bitch is gone. How do you guys know each other? White supremacy? Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, no, not you, I know. You, you and I both voted for Bernie, I could tell. I know, I feel like you listened to the lyrics of Nas. Wow. Like you could break down Elmatic better than the rest of us. I know, I would let you say the N word. <laughs> you would just have to say it right in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Oh, yeah. I'm factory worker. Factory worker, what, what factory? What do you think? What do you make? Meyer. What, Meyer? Yeah, I work at Oscar. <laughs> it's a partnership. It's like SAG after it, you know? <laughs> and this is your lady? How long you been together? A few months. A few months? That's great. You, she wants to clap, but she knows it's not going to last. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just went through a breakup, so everything is death to me. <laughs> I've been doing that sometimes. I've ruined people's joy. I'm like, oh, you enjoy a while last, motherfucker. <laughs> I miss my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend. I miss her dog. <laughs> Except when she, it, she kissed it on the mouth. <laughs> Humans just sit there and take it. They're like, oh, you don't you. <laughs> like, I gotta go, baby. I gotta, I gotta show them. Come here, see you later. <laughs> I thought that was next week. Yeah, the, the flight, I got I to gotta walk. <laughs> Weather. <laughs> That's how I got successful, was watching a dog kiss my girlfriend's lips all the time <laughs> when we lived together. <laughs> Nothing motivates you more than wanting to be out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I would come home at 4 a.m. and she's like, you're not tired? I'm like, mm, I am, but not sleep-wise. <laughs> Tired of watching a dog kiss my girlfriend. <laughs> that low was called reality. <laughs> Some of you here with your significant others that have also shared kisses with the dog. I could tell. You can get that kiss on the lips you taste, you can smell the kibble's orbits. <laughs> smell like sausages. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, is anybody having any questions for me? I, I know you guys, some of you guys are getting your checks. You're like, damn, this show wasn't that funny, man. He just shit on dogs. <laughs> if you have a question, you can shout it out for me. I like answering questions sometimes. Sometimes it makes for a good clip. Sometimes it makes me you want to kill like myself. My <laughs> what happened? You don't like my dog either. What, is, what kind of dog, Pug? No, I have a French Bulldog. French Bulldog, that's a, you know, that's all right. That's like a, a white rapper. If you do like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> You do like two good albums, I'll fuck with you, you know? Like French Bulldogs are like the M&Ms of dog communities, you know? Who else had it? Any, 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 other, any other questions? You're like, not after what you just did to that one. My favorite dog, Snoop. <laughs> SN double O P, Diggle double G. I had a Boston Terrier when I was growing up. I liked him a lot, man. I, he was black and white, just like me. I, yeah, they, yeah, I know. Why, why, where do you think these jokes come from? <laughs> Life experience. My dog was a G, his name, my dad let me name him when I was four. His name was, was Peter Parker Spider-Man. <laughs> and that's what all my passwords were for the longest time, Parker. <laughs> now I gotta change my passwords, I just fucking told you. Man. Jeez. <laughs> I loved Parker, Parker was gangster man. He, 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 he would hump everything he saw. I didn't know till I got the sex talk that he was doing that. I thought we were just dancing. <laughs> it was like a little game we play. I put the blanket on, I'd be like, all right, come on, Parker. <laughs> Why is this blanket sticking to me now, Mom? Look. 